Hey guys, my name is Logan Kamak. I teach history at Lakeside, and I wanted to show y'all today how you're going to open, turn on, and log in to your Chromebooks that are provided to you by your school, and also how to navigate to Google Classroom for the first time. So here you can see everyone has a unique user ID and password. Now this isn't something that we necessarily send out to you unless your school gave it to you verbatim, but there's a simple formula that you can follow to figure out your own user ID and password. So your user ID is going to be STU dot the first six letters of your first name, your middle initial dot the first six letters of your last name at WebsterPSB.org. So for example, my name is Logan Dale Kamak which is spelled C-A-M-M-A-C-K, okay? So you can see here in the example I have, if I was a student, I would have S-T-U dot Logan, my full first name, since it's less than six letters, D for my middle initial dot C-A-M-M-A-C. You see there I omitted the K, okay? So it's the first six letters of your first and last name. So S-T-U dot Logan D dot Camac without the K at WebsterPSB.org. Okay. Then your password is another simple formula. It's just your first initial, your last initial, and then your student ID number. So mine would be LC and then my student ID number. Now keep in mind, if you don't know your student ID number, it can be found in a few places. Some schools print them actually on their badges. But if you have your school schedule in the top right corner that was printed off of J Campus, you'll see your student ID number presented there. So now I'm going to show you a little clip of how to log into your Chromebook for the first time, how to open it and physically operate it. All right, now I'm going to show you how to actually operate the Chromebook that the school gives you. So first thing you're going to do is open it up and many times it will come on automatically just like that. Now, if it doesn't for some reason, you're gonna hold down this power button here for about 10 seconds and it will do exactly what it just did that you just saw. Now here, it's very tempting to hit next, but I find that it's more reliable if you hit sign in with a different account, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and sign in with a different account and you're gonna put in your credentials that I explained to you earlier. Now keep in mind, mine's gonna look a little bit different because I'm a teacher. But here you would put in your STU dot formula, your login. Now, one thing I want to mention is you do not have to type at WebsterPSB.org because it's already provided for you here, okay? So I type in my login, omitting the at WebsterPSB.org. I hit next. I'm then going to put in my password. For y'all, it's first initial, last initial, and your student ID number. Now, if you don't know your student ID number, it is provided for you on the top right of your schedule. So in my case, it would be LC and then whatever my student ID number is. So I'm gonna hit next. Sometimes this takes a second if it's your first time logging into your Chromebook. So we're gonna let all this populate. And then I click get started. Now, sometimes it will automatically pull up your browser window but many times it won't. Sometimes this will be the first screen you see and you just click on Google Chrome down here and this will take you to Google Chrome and I'll show you the rest on a different video. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to actually navigate to Google Classroom. This is the first thing you wanna do. This is gonna be your main avenue of communication with your teacher, okay? So you can get to it a few different ways. You can see here I have it saved on my toolbar, so if I wanted to just go ahead and jump straight to that, I could click on it. But most of you are not going to have that at first, so you're going to want to type it in. So I'm going to write Google Classroom, all right, and it's going to take me, it, it Googled it, so now I'm going to click on Google Classroom, and it'll actually take me to the website of Google Classroom. Now, a lot of this for you will be blank. If you've never been in a Google Classroom class, this page will look blank, except for if a teacher invited you to a class. Now, many times teachers will add you manually in class on the first day, but this is extremely helpful, especially for elementary school kids and virtual students, because the teacher will be 
logging them in individually. So if the teacher already puts you in their system, you're going to come down here and you will see the class that they want you to join. So you have the options here to either hit decline or join. I'm of course going to join. So Josh Beavers, who's my classroom neighbor, invited me to be a student in his class. So I'm going to click on join and I am now enrolled in that class. Next time you come in, let me go back to this main screen here. Next time you come in, every class that you're enrolled in will show up here. So I'm going to go ahead and go into this class because let's say I have some English 4 to do today. I'm going to click on English 4. The first thing you're going to see is the stream tab. You might see general instructions, maybe a welcome video from your teacher here. We're going to encourage all of our teachers to do that. You also have a, a people tab. So if you wanted to email Josh Beavers directly, you could click on that little button there and email him. And teachers will be cl posting classwork in this tab. Now, every teacher's classroom will look a little bit different, but like I said, we're going to have an explanation video for each teacher in their individual stream tab. So that's a basic overview. We're planning on doing some more in-depth videos later. Feel free to um, email us or call us with any questions you may have, especially for virtual students. So you'll have a great day, and thanks again.